After a group of employees protested unsafe working conditions at the Roderick Ireland Courthouse in Springfield earlier today, we caught up with Congressman Richard Neal, who was speaking out about the ongoing situation to get his thoughts. And welcome to Western Mass News, everyone at 6. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagalenzer. Western Mass News reporter Matt Sigelli has been tracking this story for us all day. He joins us now live in downtown Springfield with more. Matt. Well, Jordan and Chris, Congressman Richard Neal stood on the steps here at the Roderick Ireland Courthouse nearly one month ago today, calling on federal agencies to intervene and inspect the courthouse. Following today's protest, I caught up with Neil and those working inside the building to find out where things currently stand. It's all I can say is give us a safe place to work. I can't make it any more clear. George Noel, who represents union employees inside the Roderick Ireland Courthouse, took part in a protest on Monday amid concerns over potentially toxic cancer-causing mold inside. We brought our questions to Congressman Richard Neal to get his thoughts. They are right to, to be concerned about the courthouse. Congressman Neal stood on these courthouse steps last month, calling on federal agencies to intervene. Well, we're in contact with them regularly. I think that uh, OSHA is on the verge of going in there, and the EPA is just trying to resolve jurisdictional disputes. As recently as Friday, Western Mass News obtained these photos sent to us by a courthouse employee who wanted to remain anonymous of ceiling tiles on the floor caused by water leaking through the ceiling. The Massachusetts trial court is currently being sued by a group of courthouse employees with the case set to go before the Supreme Judicial Court on April 27th. According to court documents obtained by Western Mass News, last week the trial court moved to limit the evidence at trial to whether mold in the courthouse is causing an urgent threat to the health and safety of the occupants warranting closure of the building. I have not been one to leap to a conclusion until the evidence is presented and there's a chance to carefully review it. But I think that there have been enough stories that have highlighted the idea that there's something awry at that courthouse. And we asked Neil how he would like to see the situation handled moving forward. Ideal scenario, what happens and when? Well, I hesitate to substitute my judgment for Governor Baker's on this, but clearly the final decision here will rest with the uh, governor's administration. New tests were conducted a week and a half ago at the request of the Massachusetts trial court. Those findings have yet to be released. Reporting live in downtown Springfield, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.